I'm Daria and I'm going to talk to you about the physics of volleyball. Many different forces apply to the sport of volleyball. A force is a push or a pull on an object. It is the cause of acceleration or change in an object's motion. A force can cause an object to start moving, stop moving, and change direction. Volleyball incorporates all these points. The volleyball starts moving with a serve and the volleyball stops going in one direction when the ball is bumped or blocked. There are two major classes of forces for objects, field and contact. Volleyball has to deal with contact forces, which are forces that arise from the physical contact of two objects. Some forces that apply to volleyball are applied force, force of gravity, air resistance, and force of friction. When a volleyball is served, the server exerts an upward and forward force, or applied force, on the ball. Meanwhile, gravity is exerting a downward force on the volleyball. This downward force is what causes the ball to fall down to the ground on the opponent's side. There is also a force of friction that occurs when the ball is flying through the air. As the volleyball is moving in one direction, air resistance occurs the other way. Newton's laws affect every aspect of our life. Therefore, they affect volleyball and every other sport greatly. I'm going to inform you on just how the laws do affect volleyball. Newton's first law states, an object at rest will stay at rest, and an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. This law affects every volleyball player who messes up a serve and sends the ball right into the net. Also, every player who blocks a hard-hit ball from an opposing player feels the law's effects on their stinging arms. The server's hand, the net, and the blocker's forearms acted as an unbalanced force that stopped the object in motion. Newton's second law states, the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net external force acting on the object and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. This law is a mathematical equation that explains the relationship between force, mass, and acceleration. Mass multiplied by acceleration equals net external force. When a ball is bumped over the net, there is a net external force that is created, but if the ball were spiked over the net, the net external force is greater. The harder hit balls have a greater acceleration, therefore resulting in a stronger net external force. Newton's third law states that to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. For example, the action force of a spiked ball meets the reaction force of a player's block. Also, a team scores a point when the action force of a spiked ball meets the reaction force of the opposing team's court. The hard floor has more force than the soft ball so the ball bounces off the court to equalize the reaction of the impact. Another physics topic that deals with the sport of volleyball is projectile motion. A projectile is any object, in this case the volleyball, that has been fired, thrown, or propelled, in this case hit, such that it has no capacity for self-propulsion. The volleyball is under the influence of gravity only. Trajectory is the curved path that a projectile takes during flight. A projectile follows the curved shape of a parabola. The flight path of the projectile is affected by its angle, height, and space of release. The angle of release affects both the vertical and horizontal distances that the ball will travel. If it is a high angle, the ball will travel far along the vertical axis but shorter along the horizontal axis. If the angle is low, then the ball will travel a small distance along the horizontal and vertical axis. The height of release also determines the projectile's horizontal distance. If the release height is higher than the landing, then the ball will travel further on the horizontal axis. The speed of the serve also affects the horizontal and vertical distance. A higher speed typically results in a larger vertical and horizontal difference, whereas a lower speed will give shorter distances. I hope you learned how volleyball is an example of matter and motion in physics.